Welcome back. Last video, we learned the difference between groups and buses and AUX sends and channels, and now it's time to create some. We're going to start off with our little demonstration project that we have going here. It's an acoustic project. It's got a guitar mic'd in stereo along with the direct out. It's got some lead vocals, harmony vocals, and a string part. A great place to start learning how to make sends and groups. We're going to move on over to our console by hitting FN and F3, and that's the full-size console app here in Cubase Pro. And we have our tracks here on the left and our one group, which is the stereo outs. So let's create a vocal group by choosing the first vocal and then shift clicking on the last vocal we want to include in the group. We right click anywhere here in the meter area of this. Come down, it opens up this drop down dialog window and presents us with these choices. We're going to scroll down here and choose add group channel to selected channels. And that's going to help us create a brand new vocal group. We're going to leave the configuration in stereo. We're going to title this vocals. And we're going to add the track. It's going to create a brand new group channel and it's automatically going to route these three vocal tracks to our brand new group channel signified by the blue cap here. That's Cubase's way of letting us know this is a group channel. We'd also like to move this over to the zone where our other stereo outs are. And to do that, we move over here to this box, the three tabbed box, visibility zones and history. If we come down here, you'll see a bunch of little dots on this side. These dots can occupy one of two locations. If we come down here to our brand new vocals bus, and click just to the right of that dot, it simply moves that over to the right zone. The difference with buses and groups put over here into the right zone is they'll snap together and stay put as opposed to the tracks which are free to move, which is very handy in a dense mix to have all your groups and aux channels in one location. Let's use that exact same process to create some buses slash groups for our guitar tracks. Also one for the string track, we'll title that music. And it's time to create some sends and add some ambience to our project. To do that, we're going to do the same thing we did with the bus selection. Click on the first vocal, shift click on the last one, click in the meter area, same dialog box comes up, but instead of choosing group channels, we're going to choose add FX channel to selected channels instead. A couple things happen when we do this. It's going to bring this dialog box up. This is going to be called Vox Verb, and it's going to allow us to select the reverb or effect that we want to put on this AUX channel. We're going to come down here and choose Steinberg's Revelation, a big lush reverb, great for vocal spaces. We're going to hit add track and a couple things are going to happen. It's going to open up the interface for the effect we've chosen. And it's also going to make sure that the mix slider for that effect is set at 100% because this is an aux or effects channel. And it's got a purple cap. That's Cubase's way of signifying that this is an AUX or effects channel. Same thing applies. We're going to move it on over to the rest of our buses in that area. And you can see up here, it's created three independent sends from each track that's going to bleed over here to our brand new AUX or FX channel. And that's going to allow us to give each vocal its own unique space. Next up, let's create some sends for the guitar tracks. But instead of selecting them individually and adding the entire selection, let's go over to the group we just created. And we can do the same thing from here. Right click in the meter area, same dialog box comes up. We choose add effects channel. Now it's going to take a send off the group itself. Same thing applies. We're going to call this guitar verb. We're going to choose a different effect so it has its own space and identity. We're going to come down here and choose reverence, a great impulse response reverb. We hit add track and a couple things happen like before, brings up the interface, it automatically sets the mix knob to 100% and we're ready to use that effect for just the guitar. Only difference is it's being taken off the bus as opposed to the tracks themselves. Treats the entire thing as one instrument. All right, so a little bit different space. It's a nice tight reverb. And we can see our brand new guitar aux or FX channel right over here. We're going to do the same thing. Move it over to the rest of our buses. And now we've got all of our groups and all of our effects channels in one place. One last way to create a send if you want to use an existing aux channel is to do it manually. So we're going to come up here to our string sound. We're going to click in the select destination for the sends box here. And we can choose one of the existing sends here. So we're going to choose our Vox verb. The only difference doing it manually is it doesn't power up the send automatically. And the same thing applies. One final word about sends. They can be one of two different states. In its most common configuration, signified by the green background, this is a post send. What that means is if I drop the channel volume of this particular track, 
the sound of that track as well as the reverb send will all disappear. If it's in its other state, signified by its blue background by hitting this button here in the center, now this send is taken before the channel volume. If I drop the channel volume, the channel's volume disappears, but not the reverb in the background because this is taken before this actually makes a change. So those are the two differences between pre and post sends. All right, there's a quick way to set up groups and AUX channels in Cubase. In the next video, we're gonna start mixing our little project. We'll see you then.